guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my um, how to make the most out of Disneyland Paris video. So what things you can get done and do them in like if you're only there for a short amount of time. So my last trip I was there for three, well yeah I was in the park for three days. So yes it is enough time but it's also not at the same time if you don't make the most out of it and show you guys some of the bits as well. So, because obviously, because I have my annual pass, it doesn't matter to me if I don't get everything done in one trip. But if you're taking your kids or you're going with someone who's never been before, you want to make the most out of your trip. Disney is expensive. Like, I remember when I went, um, it's like two, two and a half years ago now, and we got a package deal, me and my two cousins, so there's three of us, and it cost us each, like, because obviously we just split the thing between fr the three of us. I think it cost us about £400 each. Like, that's how much my annual pass was. Like, it's crazy how expensive Disney is. But, like, that was, like, our flights, hotel and stuff. So when you think about it, it's not too much. But if you're going as a family and that's all, you've got to pay for all of it, it is a lot. Um, but, yeah, so going with, like, people like friends and stuff it does work out cheaper because you're paying for your share of it so say it came to 600 pound for a three day trip with your eurostar or flights whatever you've picked and your park tickets and your hotel there's two of you going so that means 300 pound each so when you think about that 300 pound for a holiday isn't too bad but then Sometimes you get meal plans included in that, sometimes you don't. But that's a good that's a good like amount of money. Three hundred pounds, you don't have that lying around. But yeah, so how to make the most out of Disney, I would say there's definitely I always have four apps when I go, but um I'll show you guys what they are. If it'll focus on my thing. So Lime Bertie, which is this one, the Disneyland Paris app, Magi Park and the photo pass plus oh let me just let it just back oh, super so the magi park um if i show you it does it in like a traffic light system so red amber green so this is for my favorite ones so you could pick favorites um this is the main disneyland park and you can set it um by wait times so I can see at the moment in Disney, Peter Pan's flight has a 50 minute wait. There's nothing on red, which is over an hour. Um, and then from there on, if you go down, all of these ones in green are less than half an hour, 20 minutes. Then you could go across to Walt Disney Studios. Crush's Coaster's got a 50 minute wait. Like, it does live updates. It tells you right down the bottom, updated 41 seconds ago. So it's a good app to use. Like I say, you can put stuff in your favourites. So, oh, I say that, Mickey Mickey says that it's 60 minutes in my favourites. But yeah, I can see, right, so in my favourites, I know I love doing Big Thunder Mountain. That's a 45 minute wait right at this second in Disney. I'm currently not in Disney, but if I w was there, I could look and go, right, that's a 45 minute wait. It's nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. Are they going to have fast passes left? Is it, judging by the park's busyness, it's probably not very busy. So, could go over, see if they've got a fast pass. We did that on our trip and we managed to ride the ride in a queue, then do our fast pass. The queue was a half an hour wait. The fast pass was for in half an hour's time. So, you, we got on and obviously you have half an hour for your fast pass. Like, you... Yeah, it's how, so we got to ride it twice within the space of like well, half an hour, just literally we got off, collected our photo and went back on again with our fast pass. Best thing about like that app and best thing about um, fast passes, which I'll get onto a bit more later. The main Disneyland Paris app, which is the one which has got the Mickey in the middle here. So it comes up and I'll just accept the cookies. So it comes up here, it'll tell you Mickey comes up, you can do the park times, dining, fast pass, email. It tells you the celebrations on at the moment. 
um, not to be missed rides, adult for adult guests, for kids, for classic Disney characters, for Toy Story fans, for Star Wars fans, for Princess fans. And then you can click the Mickey down the bottom. It's down here. Oh. It was down here in this blue little bit here. Oh, let it focus. So that's the main part. We've got studios just here. Um, and then if I go this way, you've got the village in like this little bit here and then all the hotels. So, so easy. I, it does wait times as well, but I never find them as like accurate, accurate, or as exact, let's use that word instead, as Magi Parks. And the next one I have is the Lime Bertie one. Um, so it comes up like this. And then you click take a ticket and then you go on to Disneyland Paris. I clicked the heart on it because otherwise you have to find it. Um, so it will come up in a sec. Oh, there we go. So it comes up. It tells me that there's meets in the Walt Disney Studios and in the Disney Disneyland Park at the moment. So if I click Walt Disney Studios, meet and greet, I can see that Woody, obviously I'm like really late in the afternoon, but I can see Woody was meeting today. Disney characters, um, Olaf, PM, Buzz Lightyear and Olaf AM. So Buzz Lightyear and Olaf AM are obviously morning ones and the other, I think, Disneyland characters, it says WDS, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. But those ones, I think you can meet, you can select them in the morning but they do an all day event um but yeah woody comes out in the afternoon and there's obviously two lots of olaf but yeah so you go on you click book a ticket obviously at the moment it won't let me book it because it's not available but it will tell you there's some available so you can book your ticket and then it'll let you accept it on the next page the same with the disneyland park um side of it but you can do it for pin trading when there's limited um edition pins come out that's obviously only at certain times um but yeah and there's also meet and greet um it, when i went it was jack skeleton so you can do that as well on the same app so you go on to book a ticket obviously it won't let me book one because it says it's closed or it'll say full if you've gone on too late it will tell you it's full but yeah best app that's how you meet characters in mostly in the studios but it's also a good way to meet characters anyway um there was four of us who went round together um, and so we all stood there on our phones like waiting for the line Bertie to open and we all clicked a different one we said like I think mine was the but mine was Olaf but then we didn't manage to get it but like so I had Olaf someone else had um was going for Pluto because he was instead of the what Disney character like Disney characters and um, someone else went for Buzz and then somebody else went for Olaf as well because obviously the trip we went on there was loads of people and you can take, you can select up to eight people for, per ticket and um, so you have to tell them exactly how many people in your group obviously we were a big group like there was like 40 of us in total so we said we've got eight and then we invited some of our friends as well to come with us to meet them but yeah so we all managed to get them obviously we didn't manage to get that Olaf one but then someone else in the group that two of them managed to get it and they were like oh we're all going on her one so you guys can have the later one so they just sent us a ticket but yeah like it it is an easy way to meet characters I understand why they do it but some people didn't know about it to start with I think um I can't remember who it was someone was out in the studios um and they didn't kind of announce to everyone that it was this app you had to get. It was like, everyone was like, oh, that's a really short queue. Because literally you could, um, when you get accepted, um, it sends you a text like um, when it's like 10, 15 minutes before. And it goes like, oh, you can, um, it's n nearly your time. So you can go to the meet and literally you might have to queue for like 10 minutes just or you might have to wait for like the family in front of you to finish taking photos it's stuff like that it's so easy but yeah like and um, not many people knew about it to start with so it was like a good app to have which no everyone's like 
how are they meeting them? Like, why won't they let me meet them? So, yeah. And then the last one is the Photo Pass app, which is this one down here. So it's just a white background and it's got Disney Photo Pass on it. Type it into your app store, it comes up. So I've opened it up. So as you can see, it's going to show me. Um, let me just put that over there so you guys can see. So it's gone like that. So you can scan your QR codes for your ride photo. So you can go up to the screen, boom, scan. There's your um, ride photo. But I like to go to the booth with my ride photo because then they adjust it slightly. Um, if I show you, they'll adjust it slightly so you can see just like either just you guys in it or I know Hyperspace Mountain they put like a helmet over the people who aren't in your party which is really good like Tara Tara obviously it does the whole it shows you the whole thing like the whole car but obviously like I'll show you this one oh focus so we're sitting here and as you can see it's just obviously we were in the middle row so it's harder for them to crop it out but they reduced it down so you could see us more in the picture sometimes you get ones and you look at the screen and they're slightly off um so that you can see like half your head but they can like normally like just reduce it down and or move it over so then you're it's fully in the frame which is really good um yeah as you guys saw like you get all your ride photos on it um you get all your character meets on there as well so and these if i just kind of do like a quick scroll through these obviously aren't of like me but because of my photo pass and um, like look these ones like down here like we were like hugging um him just saying hello and stuff whereas the, i've still got some on here from my last like when i went before in february um, I didn't have an annual pass there, but I just bought a photo pass. So it's like this one. I'm like, oh, you gonna focus? I'm like hugging Mickey. Um, but yeah, so stuff like that. Like it's, it is. Like they do take nice photos. They are good quality photos. Um, but yeah, and we went because my friend, um, she had. She just went and got like the temporary ones, what they give you. They're like, oh, um, here's your photos and give it to you on just a little card. And then you can add them or you can decide to buy one at the end or buy individual photos. And we went to go and get hers because obviously my annual pass, I got it with it. I said, oh, you can add them to mine. It's fine. So she did like she added them to mine. And as we were sitting, like standing there looking for her, her photos, um, and stuff the woman was like oh there's three photos of Olaf here by himself do you guys want them so there's like this one she just put it on my pass if it wants to load it probably won't load so there's like that one um there's like this one him kissing because he's white it's a bit hard there you go and like this one like they they're just there like the photo Obviously, he must have been waiting for something, and the fast photographer just started taking photos of him. So, um, like all of your photos, I know if you do princess for a day with like your little girl or pirate for a day, they're still doing. And um, the photos they take in that little photo shoot um, all get added to your pass as well. Like if you have the pass or if you buy one. So, because of my annual pass, I'm, I got the infinity. I got it free with my infinity pass. But if you have the Magic Plus, which is the one down, I believe you have to pay about 54 euros, something like that. Um, but the normal pass is 74 euros. No, 75, because it's 74.99. So 75 euros. I know quite a few um, travel agents and stuff who you can book through will say, do you want to add it to your booking? And it's that bit cheaper. And most people are like, no. And then when they get there, they see it's like 75 euros and they're like, oh, I wish I added it. But yeah, it's a good thing to do if you're more, if you're there and you know you're going to do character meets, definitely. Because otherwise you're just paying to get your ride photo and you can go up to the screen and just take a photo of it. But yeah, character meets is definitely worth the photo pass. So they're like must do things for Disney. And yeah what else like i'm just trying to think like i love doing character meets like but i also love doing rides so my next trip um although i put on my trip announcement i'm actually going to be staying for two extra days as there's an annual pass event the day after we were meant to be leaving 
So, and Laura and Katie are leaving on the 12th and I'm gonna be leaving on the 14th because there's an annual pass event on the 13th. So I'm gonna have five days in Disney. Well, no, because we're gonna go in the Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then the annual pass event, then Saturday, so yeah. I'm gonna have like seven things. Yeah, so stay tuned for the vlogs for that. Um, but yeah, like we're, so I've got those two extra days, which is obviously fine, because I don't mind going around solo. I know a couple of the other girls who went on the Sarah Lee's Porter trip are in Disney at the same time. They're like, yeah, you can come around with us for a bit, it's fine. But yeah, so annual pass, good option if you're going more than once and if you've got some people worked it out like if you're going for more than like three days as well like some i've just rang up to see how much it is for because we're all staying in in a in the santa fe but i've just rang up the annual pass line to see how much it is for just me to stay two nights in a hotel and i've written it all down so for maximum for my maximum discount in the main hotel for the two nights for my two extra nights so the 12th and the 13th um night so to stay till the 14th so it would cost in the main hotel 700 and like 15 pound and that's just for me but like newport bay is 300 well yeah it's like 300 of no sorry 240 like how cheap is that like they're like the big hotels they're the main hotels obviously if the girls were staying with me then i'd split that between them so super easy super good way to save money as well i know it's that big outlay or you can pay monthly for it and um, the next thing i would say is probably go I would say if if you're staying in an on-site hotel make use of extra magic hours we did so much in extra magic hours like um on the first day um we had extra magic hours on so a Wednesday morning um was it Wednesday morning no Tuesday morning sorry so Tuesday morning I went straight to the park I left my hotel which was Santa Fe at just um about half seven I walked to the park, it took me about 20 minutes, I was in the, well I said I was less, I was in the park by quarter two, quarter two, ten to like, um, in the village, because I was debating whether to wait for Earl's sandwich at eight o'clock, and I was like, nah, it's fine, I'll just go to the park, I'll come back and eat, and um, I went to the park, obviously the main gate's right at the top, you couldn't go down and t into the main ho Disneyland hotel bit just yet, because um, they weren't open, but so we were stopped there there was still there was quite a lot of people there at this time which is crazy so because obviously because of my annual pass i got to go down to a special entrance so i was the first person to walk down main street that day i had photos down main street which i don't have to edit i don't have to crop people out of because it is only me which is quite magical and special oh and my battery's dying Sorry if the angle has slightly changed, my battery died. And um, so, yeah, because I get a special entrance, I was the first person down in the park, got lovely photos. So yeah, really good. And I went in the queue to meet Stitch. I didn't know what time he came out. Obviously, I thought he came out in extra magic hours as well, like a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure what exact time he came out, if he was out in my extra magic hours. So I went and stood in the queue for Stitch which is fine and um, I was the first person there like nobody else came and really joined me till I, I stand there about an hour and then like this little family came and joined me but that was it like until he actually came out nobody came and queued and then people saw him and went that queue's literally like two like five minutes get got in the queue and then you could see the queue was full it was like an, over an hour by the time I had actually had all of my photos taken with him so yeah, it was like stuff like that, you can do that. Then I went up and met the girls because they had got into the park that little bit like later. Um, and then I can't even remember what we did. I think we might have gone on Big Thunder. We might have gone and done a ride. We, oh, we went and met Donald. Um, 
but yeah like stuff like that you can get those quick character meets done like you can go down to meet mickey and mickey's house is open during extra magic hours so you can wait 10 minutes to meet mickey like princess pavilion i believe is open in extra magic hours so you can go meet princesses in like 10 minutes like if you're like the first ones in there obviously um but yeah like it's crazy what you can do then on the wednesday we decided to go down over to studios because we wanted to ride crush and didn't fancy waiting in an hour queue and um, because one of the girls sarah who was going around with us didn't want to go on it which is fine but yeah she just didn't want to go on it so we didn't want to wait an hour in a queue without her because she'd have to sit outside by herself so we were like straight in extra magic hours in done we were like the first ones on the ride so we were the last ones in the first lot of carts if that makes sense so yeah our cart had no people in it when it came round to us so it was like the last one of the first lot so yeah we managed to do that so it took us 10 minutes just to walk around it but yeah like it was amazing like crush was done then we came off a of crush and went down and met Pluto again um, we went down to Ratatouille I think and I can't remember if we got no we didn't queue for Ratatouille we went and got a fast pass for Ratatouille like we got crep um, we got went on slinky dog like we did so much we went the extra magic hours it's like you can do loads then we went oh yeah we didn't get a fast pass from Ratatouille we went from crush met Pluto got a crap then went over to the main park we're gonna meet mickey hour to meet him um but yeah like you can do a lot in extra magic hours use of fast passes i forgot about that one let me go and get my um i know that seems like two seconds for you guys um so yeah i um keep them in like a little wallet what i put on my lanyard so i was just under attaching it so i actually kept these two from my last trip because i didn't get to use them so this is my hyperspace mountain one and this is my big thunder mountain one so the, as you can see fast pass they're free to get these ones there is a paid for fast pass i've had it before it is good if you're going at peak times because you can get on all the fast pass attractions but the free ones which are these paper tickets so this one was for hyperspace mountain valid between 350 and 420 and I think we got this just before we went on the ride. So we went on the ride. F yeah, we walked. We did the queue because it was only like a five minute queue. Um, and then we got a fast pass and it was like a half an hour after. So we were like, oh, even if it takes us half an hour, which it's not. We can then come back and use the fast pass if we want to. But we decided not to. So on the ticket, as you can see, it tells you the time and that. The date it's like you got it. And down here it says you can get another fast pass ticket after and then it says on this one 350 because that was the time of that and because i'd only got it half an hour before that so um whereas oh this one's the same as well so this was my big funder one it says um it, it was between 455 and um 525 and valid the day before and i could get it another fast pass at 4.55 as these as the fast passes weren't really running out when we went it was easy to get fast passes like i say we got a fast pass went in the queue and then managed to ride it twice like kind of thing um but sometimes on the bottom of your ticket so if you got a fast pass at um say you got it at 12 o'clock to go on peter pan because peter pan fast passes always seem to run out um, at 12 o'clock and your fast pass isn't until 5 o'clock so you got it at midday your fast pass you can't go back until 5 that doesn't mean you're not allowed to get another fast pass in that time you have to wait two hours like I've just shown you it's on the bottom of your ticket it tells you the time so if you know if you're getting a fast pass earlier in the day and it's for a later evening one double check the bottom of your ticket and see how long it will take so we got one for oh yeah we got like a different one for big thunder and when and then it 
that was only for like 20 minutes time so went and did pirates and then we walked around to peter pan because we really wanted to do it i literally we had to stand out and wait for five minutes to do to get our peter pan fast pass and um, so stood there for five minutes got our peter pan fast passes then went rode big thunder came back and literally like 20 like 10 minutes later um like we got a drink and stuff went back and rode peter pan so stuff like that you can do like everyone's like you can only have one at a time like yes but this one it was already time for us to ride our big thunder one but because we were coming past like um, peter pan we wanted to get our peter pan one now so if that makes sense um but yeah so you can wait to to as it tells you on the bottom of your ticket read your ticket follow the ticket um other things like stuff rides such as like buzz I don't feel fast passes are worth it because it only skips it outside queue. If the queue is only like a 10 minute queue, your fast pass isn't going to be worth it because you're still going to have to queue in that 10 minute queue. It's when it's more like a half an hour, 45 minute queue where your fast pass kind of comes in and you'll still have to queue about 10, 15 minutes. Rides such as Big Thunder takes you, you go like round the back, it takes you literally down the steps what loads you into carts. Worth the fast pass. Um, other rides, I think someone told me Star Tours is pretty much the same. It takes you down into the like docking bay. Um, what else is similar? Hyperspace Mountain takes you pretty much the whole way round. Um, trying to think what other rides take you like right to the edge. Uh, Ratatouille takes you right straight in in the studios. Tower of Terror takes you in. You like get. You go in through like this i see a secret like the the side bit and you get straight into like an elevator um what else like there's so many others like i can't even remember what takes you straight in but yeah there's a lot what do, what do. Uh, peter pan takes you straight up as well um i'm just trying to think what else did we get fast pass for but yeah fast passes free ones worth it Paid for one's worth it if you are going during peak time. So I went February half term, full of kids. It was a two hour wait for Buzz. It's getting like the ultimate fast pass and being able to go on it when I wanted was good because I only had to wait 15 minutes. Photo pass worth it because character meets and ride photos are all in one place. They are on your pass. Um, online for a year so my ones like i showed you were from my i showed you some from my february trip so they'll go off in february whereas all of my other ones on there will stay on until my annual pass runs out so they are on there for a whole year but i can add to it all year whereas the normal standard photo pass you could add to it for 10 days and um, and that's it and then they are like it's like a storage space for your photos really then they go after a year um dressing your kids up like is i would say it's like a must do plus like i know people can't afford to buy outfits they are exp expensive but there's so many things you can do to get them dressed up you can do um or you can buy them the cheaper outfits it's fine you can make the outfits you can go on etsy stores there's people out there selling dresses which are disney inspired like i've got some from princess rags um as you guys will know um, which is sarah's company i've got another one from i can't pronounce the name properly but it's um it's, you'll see it on my trip but it's a jasmine one this is a card she gave me so it's like this print on it and it's like a turquoise blue and it's kawaki dress shop so that's her name she does adult ones and kids ones so you can have mini me going on so i've got that jasmine one you can buy the kids version of the jasmine one as well like she does them in quite a lot of her dresses um and her dress was for an adult one so it was 27 pounds and then I think posted so it took it up to about £30 so it's £30 for a dress like I think the kids ones are about £25 um, like £25 on a dress which isn't a Disney dress up dress 
and you could wear, she like your little ones could wear out more like if they're going to a birthday party they can wear it there because it's not a fancy dress dress or dress up dress like yeah they could wear it if they wanted they can wear it out to dinner it's not going to make them look like they are a Disney character because they're just inspired dresses. They're the same colours. They've got like similar prints. They've got things what mean stuff to those characters. Obviously, you guys will know what they are. People will probably comment on them and go, oh, where did you get her dress? Or like, where did you get those shoes? Like stuff like that. You can do that for your kids. Like you can get, go to Primark. You can get t-shirts with Mickey Mouse on them. They like all the time they've got them they've got jumpers and all that sort of stuff like there's so many different ways to do disney get your kids excited for it and still keep within your budget so yeah just look out for them you don't have to buy them in the park you don't have to get their face painted in the park for 15 euros take some glitter take some so get a pot of glitter take some vaseline with you it's gonna sound stupid so put um i always do it like around my eye so if you put vaseline like here and then get um your paintbrush and dip it in your glitter and then put put it on top of the vaseline it will stick to your, the face and then it's easy to wipe off with a baby wipe off there it goes you could do like little ones you could make it as like a heart like and stuff like obviously around the eyes quite pretty for little girls and stuff you could do it on their arms and it's just glitter it's safe vaseline safe for their skin as well so something like that that's going to cost you two three quid and you're going to buy that at home stuff like getting autograph books and um, my autograph book is a notebook yes i did buy it when i was in disney but um, I've got one sitting here which is just a notebook but this is my I got it from Disney store it's the VHS um, thing it looks like a VHS but it's a notebook like um, but it's got the VHS thing in it and then it's a notebook do you know what I mean they're all you can use that as your autograph book that at the moment it was in the sale at the, um, and it was like five quid I think don't even think it was that anymore I think it might be like 3 99 something like that so but if you say five quid that's five quid for an autograph but that's nine euros which you don't have to say spend in Disney yeah you might want to get a pen whilst you're there and um, because they're a little bit bigger and easier for the characters to hold but if you get I can't find my one I don't know where it is like the one I'm talking the what the big ones will have like the four colors on them they're a bit thicker and that's the kind of thickness the characters need to be able to hold whereas like a biro are harder for the characters to hold especially if they've got if they're like gloved characters and stuff but yeah things like that are going to save you money in disney more stuff so you can buy your goodies you can buy you can treat your kids to a park snack like park snacks are expensive they are about five euros each and that's just for a cookie like yes they are expensive yes they are lovely but you don't have to buy them like you can take treats with you you could make your own mickey shaped treats you could go on ebay or amazon buy a mickey shaped cookie cutter make your own cookies as long as you've put them in a sealed container they're gonna stay fresh you can take them into the park with you then you've got your own mickey shaped cookie stuff like that is going to help you keep on budget as well I know my video is kind of turning into a budget video but it's like how to keep I know people want to keep the cost down in Disney and um, as well as trying to enjoy themselves and not worry about the cost I always go over the top buying euros or getting euros because I don't want to feel short of having money when I'm there it's like if I want that, if I want something, then I'm I'll get it. Obviously, I'm not like ridiculous and going like, oh yeah, I need, I want that, I want that, I want that, and literally buy everything. I obviously think about what I want to buy. So, um, my Pandora charm I got, I didn't go to Disney going, I want to buy a Pandora charm. I saw it, I really liked it. I got the one. It was in the sale. It was thirty five euros. Like with my discount on that, it went down to twenty eight so things like that like i wasn't expecting to buy that but that was like a nice thing i brought back from the trip knowing that that's the trip i got it on i'm sitting here looking at my uh, my denim jacket what i got 
um, it, I got it printed in the Disney fashion shop it would have been like 45 euros with my discount it went down to like 38 which meant pretty much paying for the jacket rather and I got two patches on it so my patches were free essentially I, I've gone out and bought some more patches to go on it like you guys are gonna think why did she buy a denim jacket in Disney like but I wanted the patches more than the jacket but I asked if they just sold the patches and they said no they didn't that but they're looking into it so I ended up buying the jacket I was like I'll just buy the jacket it's fine like and now I've gone out and bought more patches to go on it so yeah like stuff like that you can make your own one at home for the kids to take you can make your own transfer t-shirts at home for the kids to make I've got one I made myself but I don't know where it is like yeah you can do stuff like that um as well like other must-dos in the park I would say are to go up into the Disneyland hotel you can walk in there you can walk into any Disneyland hotel actually and have a look around see what it's like in there but the main hotel is probably the one which is worth it so as you're heading out the park um obviously the entrance is up the exits are on either side if you're coming from the train station and if you take the one towards the left and um, so take that one towards the left and go out obviously out the turnstiles and then you come up and on the a little bit further up you'll you'll go past like guest relations and all that stuff and um, as you go up on the left there's like a swirly door and there's like a normal door into the Disneyland hotel go through that door and that take and then go round the outside around the side and that takes you into the lobby of the hotel if you go up the stairs and take the right um so you go up the central stairs and then you go right i always doubt myself when i'm in there so yeah you go up the stairs take the right and then turn left at the top of the stairs you go down that corridor there's the that's the hotel gift shop is just is down there on the left keep going down you're coming to like a cent like a little plaza -y bit that's where cafe fantasia is and that's where inventions is as well you can sit there in cafe fantasia considering as it's just as of where it is the cocktails and the drinks and stuff in there are a lot more expensive so you might not want to sit and have a drink there because they are that little bit more expensive but it's a nice way you can just sit down there you're not obliged to buy anything you can just sit down and um, and you see the characters going into inventions which is quite special really like sometimes they stop sometimes they don't that's not a definite but like you can go up and look around the hotel like it's pretty the shop's really pretty like it's got similar stuff to the shops where you're obviously looking in the parks but it's nicer because there's not as many people in it and you can walk around and see a bit more yeah that's like a must do like you i love going into the disneyland hotel even if you go in there yeah and just like say look around you don't have to stop and have a cup of tea or like a cocktail but i was looking today and there's a frozen cocktail because i go in frozen season and in cafe fantasia it's 19 euros it's a bit it looks a bit like a glotini um but i'm pretty sure if we went back to the santa fe bar which is where we're going to be staying that is going to be probably maybe 12 euros so things like that like you can walk and down into sequoia lodge it has a lovely open fireplace in the bar area um so that is like a nice one to go in and sit and chill but yeah like you can go into the hotels and have a look around the only thing you can't do in that is going to pools or into the rooms like other things what i think you have to do um let go in world of disney that's a must like i love world of disney it's like my favorite shop um the village is amazing eating in the village is really good as well we really like to nets um it's also i believe part of the dining plan or you can use your dining plan for credits there because i get discount there which means it's disney owned so if it's a disney owned restaurant then annual pass holders get discount in them so whereas something like rainforest cafe i don't get discount in it because it's not owned by disney um i'm just trying to think like other things to do like there's just so much to do but they're like definitely my top tips and stuff to help you keep within budget as well so it's 
a magical place you shouldn't have to worry when you're in Disney you shouldn't have you should be thinking about how much how much of a good time you guys are having but yeah like that is definitely my tips for Disney and my musties so if you guys enjoyed this video and um, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below it would really help you can also stay tuned for my Disney Land Paris vlogs which will be coming in March and I also have lots more Disney related videos coming in the lead up to my trip so see you guys later bye